Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we're going to have a look at the best budget transmitter for under £80. Hi, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a quick video on what are the best budget transmitters. So these are, these are all currently under £80. So you've just got into flying, you've been flying some of these ready to fly budget quads and you want to step up, maybe get yourself a tiny up or something and you need a transmitter. So this is why I wanted to do this video. So there's a few ways you can go, you can go F, F Fly Sky, so this is Fly Sky, this is around, you can pick some for under 40 quid off, on eBay, new. Uh, decent set, you can convert it so it has 10 channels very easily by doing the sticks. It's very easy to program, the gimbals feel decent on it and it's a nice little set, it's a great beginner set holds nice in your hand, it's got good weight and like I said the gimbals feel good and these are around £40 and if you want to stick with Fly Sky and you like the protocol they have this, this is the Turner G Evolution this is currently £56 as we are today you can get it in mode 1 or mode 2 again this is Fly Sky it's it feels better than that, don't get me wrong, it's better than the i6 it's nice in your hand and it's very much designed for quad pilots and if you look at, a lot of people have flown with these a lot of quad pilots still fly with these but this bit is getting a bit older now because it's been replaced now the Nirvana's out, the Dark Knight Nirvana which I've got coming up, I've got one on order and so I'll have the review on that when it arrives but it's a good set for your money, I don't think you can go wrong with this and it's on a budget so most of the bind and fly, fly stuff you can buy especially that kind of stuff like the Eosheen, Megfire, stuff like that, King Kong you can buy them on the Fly Sky protocol or you can select FR Sky or DSM or SFHSS which is a Futaba protocol so that's what you need to decide but if you don't want to decide that and you'd rather think, well I don't know what I want to move to eventually, if I want to buy a more expensive radio then you've got these three you fully all know what these are so these are all multi-protocols, so these are capable of doing the Fly Sky, they're capable of doing FR Sky, they're capable of doing DSM2 and DSMX and they're also capable of doing SFHSS and they'll also fly a load of the other stuff, so this will fly the bugs because I've got the protocol into it but they'll all fly Simer and stuff like that and buying toys. A lot of the stuff you buy from WL Toy stuff will fly on these transmitters. So, and if you are interested in, especially these two, if you check out Jay Drone's channel, so Jay Drone is on YouTube, two word, Jay Drone, he's fantastic. He's absolutely superb and he does a load of things with these two transmitters. I'll leave a link in the description to Jay Drone's, uh, Jay Drone's channel so you can check him out. So, this is the eye range. These all run off the same protocol. So the only difference with these are the, the set itself and the feel of the set. So this is the first jump, this is the THSG. It has standard gimbals. They feel a bit loose to the sticks, but it does its job perfectly. And this is what I use to fly any all my bugs models. I fly all the bugs on this. Because initially you couldn't get the bugs protocol for the two. For the, for the plus, sorry, so you had to use this one, so that's what I find my bugs on. This is the version 2, so this has Hall Effect gimbals, the gimbals do feel better but it's marginal. Still have quite loose sticks, more switches than the original, you see it's got switches on the top which the original didn't have. Uh, it's got a much better power button and you can run it off a LiPo in the back as you can with this and then you've got the iRange X so which doesn't look like it's got many batteries in it so sorry about that so this is the iRange X now this is more a TBS Tango style transmitter it holds more like a game controller but as you can see in my hands I, I like the feel of it and because I pinch mainly I can fly thumbs on top but I mainly pinch it feels nice in my hands, I've got somewhere to rest my fingers on the top of these two switches which I don't use and it's good for me so this, this, this and this are identical screens except this one's much much bigger and much sharper but there's no colour and on the T8SG this one's got a colour screen and when I say colour it's yellow but it is an OLED screen so here's the thing 
if you're not sure what you want to go to and what protocol you want to move to, these three are ideal. I also the other day, I don't know if you saw it, I put a video up and I post a video to at the end of the Q7 from Taranis with a module in the back which makes it multi-protocol. That could be a way you want to go, but that's a more expensive set. So as we stand, I've, this morning I can get this for 60, um, won't turn off, I can get this for 70 pounds, 75 pounds this morning if I shop around. This you'll have to look for and find one on eBay or something like that because they don't make it anymore. But I've seen one this morning on eBay for 62 quid brand new. And this was in the flash sale at Banggood yesterday for 46 pounds. Now it, it normally retails at about 65 so that's the way you want, there's no Tyrannis option under £80 that I can find, but you can buy a second hand, you'll, you'll get a second hand Tyrannis for under £80. You'll probably get a Q7 if you shop around for about £75. But if you want to buy new, these are your options. I would recommend if you're just coming into the hobby, if you just got into the hobby and you're not sure which way you want to go, transmitter wise, buy one of these, because your resale value will be decent when you want to change it anyway. Um, I prefer this one but this has got better backup. So this has the thing called nightly builds, both of these, all of these do, but these two are better supported. So if you've got deviation.com, you can download the nightly builds and it'll have updates for the transmitter and new protocols added all the time. They're really on top of it. Whereas with this one, yeah, you, you can get them, but they don't seem to be as quick coming out as that one. If you go on there, the iRange X is supported the jumper. If you do go on there and you do want to do that, I must warn you, make sure that if you get a, the, if the one for the plus, so, so if you get the download for the Plus, do not put it on the normal THSG because it will probably brick it and vice versa. If you get the one for this, don't put it on there because it will brick it. Same again, if you get one for these, do not put it on the iRange X. Make sure that the ones you get are for them. So, that's it. Nice quick review. There is options out there. I've done videos on all of these so you'll be able to find them in, the, in my playlist if you look under transmitters. I've reviewed them all, but this is just kind of a quick overview, if that's what you want to get into to take the next step, this is what you do, this is what you need to look at. Obviously I've got the Nirvana coming up shortly, I'm just waiting for it to arrive, it could be another two weeks so from what I've heard. So the Nirvana will be the next thing I review, transmitter wise, that is more expensive, I think it's 140 plus batteries, so you're probably looking at £155 by the same bill bought it, but looks superb. Uh, and there's also the other option I should have mentioned that I don't have, is the T12 which runs on open TX, which again might be an option for you. If you go and have a look at the video, I think Andy RC's done one. And I think, oh, sorry, J Drone's done one. If you go check J Drone's out, it's probably better to look at. Check J Drone's out. He's done the T12 as well. So, once again, thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Keep flying. Thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.